is up, YouTube? Guys, Jericho426 coming with some exciting news today in Marvel Contest of Champions, guys. Yes, we are talking about the buffs for the next month, July 2021. And, of course, most of you may have seen... Yeah. What is up, YouTube? Guys, Jericho426 coming with some exciting Marvel Contest of Champions news. Guys, I am, of course talking about the July 2021 buffs for some of our already established champions in the game, guys. It has been announced today uh, on Twitter that you will see Bishop buffed. You will see Ronan, Clint Barton Ronan, not Ronan the Accuser Ronan, Ronan buffed. And also, guys, one that I am really excited for, it is long overdue, Diablo. Guys, if you saw one of my recent crystal openings, I was pulling a lot of Diablos. And to be quite honest... I was like, you know what? This is a champion that absolutely, 100%, really needs a buff. One of the biggest buff requests in MCOC was Diablo because he's just pretty useless. Well, it doesn't appear that he's going to be useless anymore, guys. It looks freaking fantastic. If I do say so myself, say it myself. If I do say so myself, and you can see Champion Spotlight Diablo buffed. So, guys. We are going to break down his buff today. I am not going to read you his backstory because if you like lore, go for it, read it yourself. But, guys, it does look like Diablo is going to be a crazy poison champion. Maybe the best poison champion in the entire game. So let's break down his abilities uh, before we get our hands on him in July and just see if we are excited. If you're going to be as excited as I am about Diablo. So, uh, Diablo's mechanics. The King of Potions has returned to the contest with a fresh face. Using his special 2 and special 1, combined with medium 2 and heavy attacks, stack as many poisons as you can on the opponent for some massive damage over time. It does seem that way if you read on. His brand new pre-fights give Diablo pinpoint precision in what on what kind of utility he needs at the drop of a hat. His basic abilities, energy damage, poison resistance, poison, and regeneration. So his strengths, poison damage. Diablo is able or is going to return to the contest with some of the best poison damage in the game. Give him a whirl, blah, blah, blah. We don't need all the, uh, all the propaganda. Weaknesses, poison immunity. If you are going to be playing against a poison immune champion, then uh, yeah, that's not going to turn out too well to turn out too well for you a lot like um immortal abomination great champion but if you're poison immune then he's just kind of useless so uh and other share of diablo's damage comes from energy damage watch out opponents with high energy resistance or that absorb energy and use it to their own benefit people like captain marvel movie or um havoc you don't want to really take have or diablo into a fight against them all the following stats abilities based on a rank 5 level 65 five star champion okay Abilities, always active. Diablo's Alchemical Self-Experimentation, say that five times fast, grants the following, uh, plus 525 energy resistance, incoming poison effects suffer negative 100% potency, so he's completely poison immune, going to make him fairly suicide friendly, uh, and then basic attacks deal energy damage instead of physical, again, really good in some fight scenarios, really bad in others. Master Alchemist, his pre-fight abilities. In the pre-fight menu, Diablo can add up to three alchemical ingredients to his Philosopher's Mix. Reminds me of the Philosopher's Stone. Passive for the fight. He has unlimited ingredients, but can only add one of each type to a fight. Each unused ingredient type is converted into two indefinite vials of might during the fight, which grant plus 131.34 attack rating and a plus 10% poison potency. Stacks up to eight. So, um... You can use his his utility, you can use his immunities, or if you don't, you're going to increase your attack rating plus the amount of damage the poison potency can do up to 8. So 80% increased potency on those poisons. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, all right, so Philosopher's Mix. When you launch a special attack, this is when the Philosopher's Mix is activated. It lasts for 8 seconds per level of special attack. So uh, per level, so it gets 8 seconds for special 1, 16 seconds for special 2, and I've Guess after that, 24 seconds for special three. Did my math right? Yeah, I'm not a maths, nah, math, maths guy. And heals Diablo 113.4 health every second. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad of a of a of a region. Uh, it also gains effects based on which ingredients were added in the pre-fight menu. So if you add distilled will, I don't know how you go about distilling will, but Apparently you can. Uh, incoming energy damage causes Diablo to passively heal 70% of the damage taken. Now, 
Uh, this could be good, but especially if it is um, if that happens when you're talking about block. So if you're blocking whatever damage you take from the block, if that heals, that will be really good. If it's just when he's not blocking, it'll be good as a safety net, but probably not as useful overall. Essence of Null. Essence. That feel like that's the name of my soul. Essence of Null. Every two seconds, 100% chance to nullify one buff on the opponent. That's pretty good. Um, would make him a fairly good, if you if you time it right, maybe not a top tier champion for someone like Hyperion, but definitely a good a good choice for Hyperion. Um, Grain of Uru. That's the name of another part of my body that we won't talk about. Um, gained immunity to stun effects and armor break debuffs. That one is great. Uh, if you saw some of the things, I think it was on Twitter, this is going to help with that a frustrating encroaching stun node that we run into sometimes where every so many seconds you just automatically get stunned. This should also help against uh, some fights with Quake as well. So that can be pretty cool. Immune to stun effects and armor break debuffs. Uh, might even make him good against someone like Medusa. Yeah. Okay. Personal poison debuffs. Max stack of 20. Unless otherwise stated, Diablo's poison debuffs inflict 1488.52 direct damage over 14 seconds. It's a good long poison. And reduce healing effects by 30%. Obviously, that's what poisons do. Heavy attack. Each hit has a 100% chance to inflict a poison debuff. 100% chance, guys. That's crazy. And medium attack uh, 2, so your second medium attack, has a 75% chance to inflict a poison debuff. You are going to be laying down poisons like like high women laying down asphalt on the road. That, that one really fell apart. Okay. Special one, double-edged elixir. Uh, after the attack, Diablo will drink from his flask. We all know he's a mad drunk. If he drinks for 1.5 seconds, he gains a regeneration passive, recovering 1984.5 health over 4 seconds. If his drink is interrupted, rude, he gains a vial of might and pauses all poison effects on the opponent for 10 seconds. And if you remember, the vial of might increases his attack rating. And all poison effects are paused for 10 seconds. Wow, that's a long pause on poisons. So you just took a 14 second poison and turned it into a 24 second poison. <whistles> okay, so special two, Whelming Surge. Yeah, I want to come with a joke for that, but I'm losing it right now. So, okay, Whelming Surge, special two. First hit reapplies all personal poison effects on the opponent. So if they are currently poisoned, everything's going to refresh. I wonder if that means, so if you have... Your 24 second poison? Is it going to refresh it? No, no. It'll just go back to 14 seconds, right? Okay. Anyway. So, refresh all poisons. Great. This is my first time, well, kind of first time reading through this. I browsed. This attack is unblockable. Fantastic. Just like it was before. And deals a burst of 1,094.5 energy damage. This burst of damage increases by 20% for each buff and poison that has activated on the opponent during the fight. Max bonus of 500%. So wait, so it doesn't even matter if it's currently on them, but if you already have it, like had it on them before, each buff or poison, God almighty, he is going to annihilate Cosmic Champions. 500%. Good gravy, this guy's crazy. Okay. Wow, this seems like a really gigantic buff for Diablo. Like a really gigantic buff. Like right now what I'm reading, if it turns out, if gameplay turns out to be like what we're reading and expecting to be, like he might be a really top tier level champion. Okay, crazy. How many poisons? Yeah, so you can use your special one to keep your poisons on. So when you get your special two, you can just do as many, wow, as many poisons are crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, guys. Okay, special three. Epic experimentation. What happened in college? Okay. This attack can only be used once per fight. Interesting. You can only use your special attack three once. Huh. This attack gains 1,094.5 attack rating. It also gains effects based on which ingredients have been added to the philosopher's mix. Distilled will. Gain a regeneration passive, healing 2835 health over four seconds. Okay. Essence of null. Hello, my soul. Is that my soul that calls me? Places 10 detonate buffs on the opponent, which last 20 seconds, and deal a burst of 437.8 energy damage when they expire 
or nullified. We'll have to play around with that one to really see how powerful it is. It doesn't seem like a whole lot of extra damage, but maybe it is. Don't know. Grain of Uru. Philosopher's Mix is paused for 10 seconds. And for each vial of Might, 100% chance to inflict two poisons. Okay. Let's go back up for a second and just look at uh, look at Philosopher's Mix. So you're going to be 8 seconds per level of special attack. Okay. Heals. Heals. So you're going to pause it for 10 seconds. So you'll at least get 18 seconds. Well, no, you're going to have what? Actually, you're going to have longer, right? Because you're going to have 24 seconds plus another 10-second pause. So you're going to have like a 34-second Philosopher's Mix. Healing 100 points for 34 seconds. Not too bad. And then whatever the immunities are. Okay. That could be very interesting. I don't know how useful the Special 3 is going to be. I really don't know how useful the special three is going to be. We are going to have to experiment and play a lot. But it seems like he's got a lot of utility. Very cool. A lot of region ability. Not nearly like a Wolverine or something, but a lot of region ability. A lot of poison damage. Holy cow, I really think this special two is just going to smack. Okay. Very cool. So his signature ability, um, Toxic Experimentation. Ex-girlfriend alert. Uh, always active poison effects. While poison, Diablo takes 30% reduced damage from all sources. So he gets poisoned, stays on him, but doesn't affect him because he takes 100%. It's 100% less potent. Okay, we'll see. And while the opponent is poisoned, Diablo gains... So it, is it his poisoned or their poisoned? So if the other person's poisoned, he takes 30% reduced damage? We're going to have to see about that. They're not, they're not saying... Okay, while the, poison, while the opponent is poisoned, Diablo gains plus 547.26 attack rating. That's, that's pretty cool. I wish it stacked, but it doesn't look like it stacks. But that's still pretty good. Okay, all right, synergy bonuses. The first one, Unending Ambition with Loki, Red Skull, and Kingpin. I don't like that they're just trying to buff Red Skull through synergies and not, and Loki, and not through, uh, through actually buffing them, but hopefully... Well, eventually it'll come down the line, right? So, Diablo. Personal poison debuffs become passive and gain 10% potency. wonder if that stacks with the potency from his pre-fight abilities as well. I bet it does. And then also they become passive. That's really good because he can pretty much apply them to anybody. So, that's awesome. That's going to that's gonna be not one that you have to have, but one that's going to be really nice to have. Loki plus 35% curse debuff duration. They really need to make it so that Loki can apply curses without his special three, like special, just special one or special two. Uh, Red Skull plus 35% shock debuff potency. Eh, whatever. And Kingpin, because he needs a buff, gain one rage each time the opponent nullifies a buff. Eh, not too, not too special. Also a unique synergy. Cool. Okay. Medcap. Experimentalists. Madcap. 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 With Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, and Modok. Diablo's special attacks have a 70% chance to inflict a stun debuff, lasting 1.5 seconds per level of special attack used. Eh, not too bad. Uh, Green Goblin, 1.5% attack rating per cunning and madness. Eh. Dr. Octopus, plus 35% heal block debuff duration. Yeah, why not? And Modoc, plus 20% personal debuff duration. Also unique synergy. Okay, not bad. Twisted Arcanists. Dormammu, Symbiote Supreme, and Mangog. Diablo, a philosopher's mix, philosopher's mix is paused during Diablo's special attacks. That's that's good. Symbiote Supreme plus one percent attack rating for each stagger on the opponent. Hmm. That that just seems like kind of a waste to me because you're not going to stack more than. I mean, I've never been able to stack more than you know four at most five staggers. So five percent attack rating. Meh. That's that's nothing special. Okay. Dormammu, after using an imbued attack, gain 40 dark energy. That's not a good one. That's, I mean, it's okay, but that's not a good one. Okay, and Mangog, while in rage, gain 10% attack rating. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, Legion Accursed. Mephisto, Juggernaut, and Coming Soon. It's a weird name for a champion, Coming Soon. Hmm. Diablo, Poison Effects, on the opponent, reduce healing effects by 50% instead of 30%. That's significant. New Realm of Legends Wolverine Killer. Okay, that's significant. Mephisto gained 50% of a bar of power when a poison debuff can be gained. Gained 50% of a bar of power when a poison debuff would be gained. 
cool down 10 seconds. So one time, like 10 seconds. Oh, well, yeah, that's okay. It's whatever. Juggernaut, while unstoppable, Juggernaut doubles his armor rating. That's pretty cool. And then coming soon, well, we don't know what that is. So uh, we got Rivals, Nemesis, and then incoming synergy changes. Interesting. Full Metal uh, from Dragon Man, Diablo. Philosopher's Mix gains plus 20% duration. Additionally, Vials of Might gain plus 10% special damage. Those, that's a pretty good one, actually. So, I'm saying you might want to run Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist. Ha! I get it. Yeah. Wow, that took me a minute. Full Metal Alchemist, Unending Ambition, and probably the Madcap Experiments. Oh, man, even even the even the Twisted Arcanist. There's a lot of options here. Those are not too bad for the synergies for him. Recommend a Mastery's Liquid Courage and Willpower, and then Mystic Dispersion, obviously. Okay, guys. So, I got to say, you know... Like I said, if you watched one of my latest uh, openings, I said Diablo needs buff. This is a buff. This is a massive buff, and it looks freaking fantastic, guys. I am super excited for this. We are going to be playing the heck out of Diablo whenever this buff goes live to really see if he can hold up to the rest of the champions of the game. Guys, I am so excited. I hope you are excited as well. Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is going to be great? Do you think these are great changes for Diablo and... Are you excited for them? Also, guys, if you're enjoying the content and going and going, God, I cannot talk today. Enjoying the content and keeping and want to stay up to date on everything. Woo! Ric Flair. If you do want to stay up to date on all the content coming on the channel, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a little love on the channel, guys. We are nearing 250 subscribers. I am super excited and super appreciative. Guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday and a wonderful rest of your week. And I will catch you on the flip side.